So first of all, you have these two fines mount again in the place where I've been before. There are a lot of um, foxholes and uh, trenches dug near here. These are the two finds in the trenches. Not really much. I've, I've looked through the trenches. I haven't really found much in there. Foxholes have been much more productive. But now, I have this. Well, this, you can see the aluminium tip on the end is totally deteriorated. This is an unexploded mortar bomb, so I have to rebury that carefully and then I have to report it. Yeah, that's the size of my hand against it, so it's not huge, but yeah, that's what would have been used against the Germans because I'm in a German area. Okay, I'll rebury that and report that. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, uh, just found a very small World War II dump pit in the bottom of this foxhole. But all I found, unfortunately, nothing really fancy, just some coloured glass, broken glass, and green glass, and clear glass. Bottle top and the, the base. You can see that somebody's broke it at some point, stuck that piece inside it before they buried it. And I don't know if you can see that. It's 28. Yeah, there we go. And uh, a strange sign in the middle, don't know what that is and I don't know what that on the right is I thought it was an 18 but it, it's not it's sorry it's a 1 and then a, a shape of some kind it's definitely a 28 so I'm assuming that's 1928 but maybe I'm wrong some and a half centimeters and that's millimeters eight something millimeters don't know total mystery don't even know if it's from the war but I'm guessing in the bottom of this I found um, German buttons on the edge of it and um, bits of equipment um, some buckles, uh, even yeah, I found a piece of blue wire down in the bottom here. Even a piece of a bicycle, um, just on the edge of this foxhole. And the Germans used a lot of bicycles because they didn't have enough motorized transport for the soldiers. So you can see the spokes. What's remaining of this bicycle? Not much, there are some other pieces of the frame, bits and pieces. So I'm only assuming this was a bicycle dumped by the Germans right next to the foxhole. And yeah, it's thick woodland here. It's quite difficult to look for signals with all these brambles. But I keep doing, moving on. German foxhole here, as you can see, we got some buttons and different things out of there the other day. I couldn't film it because of my camera, but I found um, the two uh, German uniform buttons with the uh, points on, that, um, the Wehrmacht buttons that um, are, it seems very common everywhere, but actually it's the first time I found them and I actually found two of them. Here, and you can still see the green paint. I'll, I'll uh, make a video of that. And just here is this. This is a the three hole dish button, which they used on, on pretty much everything. It's also a common button, but still cool to find. 
found a couple of them also inside the foxhole. Moving on, German foxhole here. Just found that uh, three hole German uniform button. And then just here, found these two items together. I don't know what that is. I found one of those in the foxhole too. I don't think it's a nail. Um, it looks like a kind of pick of some kind of toothpick, but it's met. It's definitely iron. And yeah, a little buckle. Don't know what that's off. Cool. Moving on. And a quick reminder: always, always recheck your holes. You know, I just found that that buckle shaped thing a little bit deeper down was this nothing fancy but it could have been something nice actually when I saw the edge of it I thought there it might be a coin coming up but no it's an aluminium ring like a tent ring of some kind a big one okay moving on So this is the roundup of uh, the items I found on the German held side. There was um, a canal and then uh, both sides were held by the Germans. The French came and, and took over both sides using American equipment, um, which is why I found a lot of American equipment in the previous videos. Uh, then the Germans came back and they took one half and there was a battle between the French on the one side and the Germans on the other eventually the Germans took it back again and then the French took it back again you know and all this stuff gets mixed up when they change lines like that but this is a roundup of the different German areas that I was in on the one side of the canal there's a mortar tail an old musket musket ball I guess that's uh, you can see that's a musket ball that's I guess older much older the fuse off uh, um, one of the shells huge tent ring this was interesting it's a, a brass item of some kind and it's got RWS written on it I don't know if that will really focus, it's not a great light at the moment. Yeah, I don't know what that's off. Some belt ends or, or strap ends from the uh, Americans mixed in with all the German stuff. Yeah, some shell pieces or bullets. There's a lot of these three hole buttons that I found was pretty cool and then in amongst some other buttons and different things I found these now these are German uniform buttons I don't know if it will focus properly on those but you yeah there you go you can see the pattern still has the green paint on them yeah I was very happy with those so I've been looking for these for a while keep seeing people finding them but I hadn't found any up until that point very cool and the stripper clip some kind of buckle now this is some interesting unusual things obviously some pieces of mortars and shells but this I don't know. A guillo parts made in France. Type V2. Now, is that a part of an armored vehicle? Is it part of a tank engine? It looks like a fuel pump of some kind. A big one. But yeah, what's it off? And why did it come off? I guess it broke. Somehow. Don't know. It would be cool. I have to do some research. The usual bullets. Bits of shell casing. This was actually in one of the German trenches. I don't know. 
what that is. Great big iron spoon. Kind of cool. That was also in the bottom of a trench. I found this. This is a more modern French coin from the 1953. Don't know if you can see that very clearly. I have to clean it up a bit better. That's 50 francs. 1953. And you see the cockle on the left. It's a cool coin. I like finding them. Now these I need help with. As you can see they're, they're joined together. They're aluminium. They have these long ends on them. I don't know if they're some kind of training bullet. I mean they this light will show that but they're they're hollow there's nothing in them so what were they for it's held together with just wire i can't see any markings on them but i've never found bullets like that before it could be quite rare i guess yeah it's a cool find and i think that's about it for this one Thanks for watching, hope to find some more interesting stuff soon.